So, 2020 has been trifling. Yeah, <laughs> but we can definitely look beyond to 2021. Not saying that everything will be solved, but we can at least make an effort. Pardon my neighbors. So if you can hear the background music of neighbors that are turning up because the year is ending, I apologize. <laughs> so 2020 has been an interesting year for me personally, just because I've had two major life things happen outside of the you know what. I won't say because I don't know how YouTube is going to handle that. <laughs> I haven't read if they're gonna if they yank videos or not, so I'm not saying it. Um, because of um, what's going on right now in the world, I've had to work from home, and that's been interesting because at one point, working from home was like a dream of mine because it's like you don't have to make a commute or go anywhere. You just get up and you have your office in your room or whatever. But then I realized that it just seemed like I, my life was revolving around work. And don't get me wrong, loved my job, but there was so much of my job <laughs> that it was um, overwhelming to say the least. So I came to a decision to put in my two weeks notice. And that was actually back in November. So I haven't been working for anyone else since then. And that has been scary. And I've been working on a lot of my own stuff. And on top of that, I honestly had to say goodbye to someone that I really care about. But to be perfectly honest, the... Uh, saying goodbye was good for that person's growth and good for my growth uh, in our individual lives. But you know, saying goodbye still hurts, even if you know it's good for you. But I don't want it to seem like my life has just been all about like stress and all of that kind of stuff because even in the midst of trying to figure out who I am and trying to get the energy back to accomplish like my dreams and all that kind of stuff I've been doing things that I'm really proud of like for instance I've been posting weekly to my blog uh, ebonyescape.com and I own I just didn't do it last week it was just last week so get off my case <laughs> In addition to posting weekly to my blog, I've also started a weekly newsletter that I've been sending out. So if you are interested in that weekly newsletter, you can either go to my website, ebonyescape.com and sign up, or you could even go to my link tree that's available to click through on my Instagram at ebonyescape. Well, it's at ii, ebonyescape ii, because my username apparently is not my own. <laughs> And so you could sign up through there. And essentially I send out a weekly-ish newsletter just updating you on my creative pursuits and updating you on my blog posts and all that other kind of stuff. So in addition to that stuff, I've opened up an Etsy shop where I sell digital files that you can use for digital planners. Like if you have the app GoodNotes and you're a fan of digital planning and digital notebooks and all that kind of stuff, I sell those things now. And right now in the shop, I have a monthly sheet a weekly sheet and a daily sheet and they're all blank and they're not dated or anything so you can just buy those if you would like and use them to your heart's content to plan your life and I actually use those myself and I designed them for myself so that I could plan my life and work everything out especially now being an entrepreneur full-time I want to be able to have a place where I can lay out my plans yeah in addition to my Etsy shop, I have also added artwork to my Society6 shop. And in case you don't know what Society6 is, it's a website where you can go and buy artwork from artists via print-on-demand products. That way you can make a piece of art and it can be printed on a mug in case you or yourself are interested in becoming a seller or an artist on Society6, or in case you're interested in purchasing things in Society6. And I have my stuff as prints, I have it on mugs, I have it as stickers. So that's something I've always wanted to do and I've always wanted to experiment in making stickers but now that I have a print-on-demand shop that I work with they print them for me you order them they print they ship it's awesome <laughs> um, and for what I focused on I made a collection called the eyes behind the mask and I was inspired by honestly the pandemic that's going on 
just because there is so much at stake with people cooperating and taking the necessary precautions of wearing a mask and washing your hands and staying safe and it's just been a tumultuous year in regards to that whether people getting sick or people losing their lives and so I just wanted to make a collection to show that each person that decides to take the step to at least just wear a mask is you know worthy of our thanks and that we should be grateful for them and that we should continue to do the work of wearing the mask social distancing and learning things from the news so that we can continue to get through this and hopefully you know get past this and if you're interested in supporting me by you know looking at those works or purchasing those works you can go to my society sex shop and another thing that i did was i got a tiktok I mean, I know I'm late, but I have to confess I'm one of those people that's like, nah, 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 it's not good, I don't want to look at it. And then later I'm like, yeah, it is good. <laughs> that's how I was about high-low shirts. Shoot, my mom got me like, not AirPods, but she got me like, you know, general store AirPods. They're not actually general store, but that's my joke for like whenever something is like off brand or looks like something, I just say that the general store version. And at first I was like, mm. but I have to admit the fact that they're this minty green blue color really is, has swayed me and I like them. <laughs> so well, that was all to say I have a TikTok. I have yet to post anything yet, but that is a goal that I have and but I have found some things to follow and all that kind of stuff so you know can look forward to that in 2021 but even with all the changes that I've had this year in terms of quitting my job saying goodbye to somebody I care about and all of the different things I've done with my blog and with artwork and all this kind of stuff there's so many things that I want to do in 2021 like in my last video, I talked about how I want to make a business that's centered around storytelling. Like in my last video, I talked about how I really wanted to focus on storytelling and essentially my own passions. So I have some goals for myself in 2021. And number one on the list is publishing my book, Guardians of Masks and memory uh, and that is a afrofuturistic tale that I have made and it's going to be a novel I actually have the draft open right now and I'm almost done with the rewrite of like draft 2.0 and I just need to get an editor to look at it a couple times <laughs> and then make some changes to that and all that good stuff but on top of writing the novel I also want to make the cover art I mean I went to school for the studio art so why look for somebody else to do it? Hmm? So I'm doing that and I'm really excited about it but also really nervous because I'm really teaching myself how to do digital art and I'm looking at other sources and artists that I find to be inspiring and trying to translate what I've learned in traditional art over to making digital art. But I have faith that I can pull this off and that God will be with me. <laughs> so I'm going to continue working on my novel and publishing it in 2021, but I can't tell you a day because, mm, but it is going to be this year. There's no shirking off of that. It is going to be this year. <laughs> and on top of publishing my novel, or rather should I say, underneath the goal of publishing my novel, because we're not putting that off. No, we are not, family. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm going to continue my weekly blog posts, and I would also like to add on to that a weekly YouTube video post. And the reason why I haven't done that yet is just because I've been trying to acquire skills that I want to bring into my video creation process. Like for instance, illustration is something that I want to include in my videos and animation. And I want to bring you guys along the journey as I increase my skills and show you what I'm doing right now and how I plan to get better, but I want to have a baseline that fits my standards. <laughs> so there, we're doing that. And then in addition to that, I would like to add more digital files for digital planning to my Etsy shop. Just because I have gotten into looking at digital planning in 2020 
and I've seen that it's really beneficial for me. And as you can see, I have a small space and I can't really add that much more books and stuff to it. I mean, you know, I will because I'm me. Uh, however, at least planning wise, I can find this way to use digital planning to save space in arguably have as many planners and notebooks as I want and it only takes up memory and not shelf space so we winning there in addition to all those things like adding more items to my shop I would also like to make more digital art and I have some ideas for some collections that I could make in this way I can hone in on things that I want to get better at drawing like for instance with the eyes behind the mask the focus of that was me teaching myself how to draw eyes and I heavily relied on Ross Trans uh, for Ross Draws video um, when he made a tutorial this year about how to draw eyes I watched it repeatedly and I tried to apply his lessons to and tips to different skin tones and all that kind of stuff which is why I have like the collection of different faces for you to look at. Another thing that I'd like to work on in 2021 is unlocking my creative potential. It sounds like I may have already said that because I'm like, oh, I want to add to my Etsy shop and I want to draw digitally and that kind of stuff. But I'm talking about this 20 creative prompts uh, that was mentioned in this podcast called the Creative Pet Podcast by Andy J. Pizza. I love listening to this podcast. It dives into the idea of creative philosophy, I'd like to call it. And I love how he discusses creativity and essentially the point of the podcast is to pep you up as a creative person. When you feel burnt out or you don't have any ideas, you're not getting traction, the idea is to come to that podcast and to be refreshed and to have ideas for things you can do and prompts to follow and different ways to look at things so that you can refresh your creative practice. And that's why I love his podcast. So I want to take the time to... Uh, follow the 20 prompts that he suggests in a specific episode number I don't remember which one it was but I'll put it up here and he essentially gives you ideas for how to refresh your creative practice with these 20 creative prompts and I would like to do those 20 creative prompts this year and last but not least I would like to upgrade my desk um, setup just because now that I'm an entrepreneur and I'm writing full time and I'm doing YouTube full time, I would like for my workspace to be a place where I can really think and I can feel free to do my work and not hinder myself by the nature of my space. So that just means that I want to fix some lighting things and all that kind of stuff and just clear it out and organize and all that good stuff. And once I'm done, I will show you. <laughs> but as always, thank you so much for watching my video, and if you're interested, you can definitely subscribe, and if you made it this far, please leave a like on the video and share it with your friends if you think they're going to find this interesting or encouraging, and I hope that in spite of how 2020 went for you, that you can take a positive attitude into 2021, and um, just that you keep your head up, and you keep doing good things for yourself and doing good things for other people and they don't have to be humongous just enough to help you feel a little bit better and put a little light out into the world and i hope that you keep creating and you keep escaping and i'll see you guys soon bye